Hey everybody, welcome to YouTube's favorite underground climbing channel. I'm your host, Joshua Perry. So, have you ever locked your keys inside your car and had to make a phone call and get someone to unlock it? Well, I'm going to show you a little trick, a little not trick, so you could unlock the car. I've actually used this a couple times, so in my, in my work truck. This is masonry lines. So, you need some line, first before I get into the table and I show you the, how to, the ins and outs of this, you need something, a line that's kind of thin. You're not going to be able to use your climbing rope. If this is like a life and death situation, you could possibly cut your climbing rope and pull some fibers out of it to get thinner, maybe even shoelaces, but you're gonna need something thin. This is masonry line. Maybe you're a fisherman and you locked your, you could use some fishing line, stuff like that. So let's get you on top of the table and uh, I'll show you how to tie this. Okay, so before we get started using the masonry line or whatever small line we have, I figured it's just easier to show you how to tie it with the climbing rope because it's bigger and easier to see. I think some of you guys are still having trouble tying your shoes right. Hashtag box knot. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just make a, a simple loop like so. And then we're gonna grab a bite of rope, which is just grabbing a rope, make a little bite out of it. See, it's biting there. And we're gonna throw it into the loop here. And that creates a slip knot. Now, the, little, the magic behind a slip knot is you can pull it this way and it just gets tighter and tighter and tighter on that loop and bites down on it. However, if we pull on this side, it's just gonna pull the, light, the, the loop tight and eventually pull it right through. Now that both works for us and against us with this trick because we're gonna make a slip knot. We're gonna try to get it behind the door and on something that we need to unlock it. However, as we pull it this way, this end, you see this end could get pulled and this might pull through. Or if we need to back up a bit, it's gonna end up pulling on this side and pulling through. So what's the trick? Well, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab the other end. With this, we're gonna grab this end right here, stick it through there, and now we have these three, three strands to pull this back and forth, adjusting it without this getting pulled through. And then at the end, if we need to, we can pull that right through there, pull this up tight, and that, that, then we're done. Good to go. That's gonna make a lot more sense in a second as we go out to the car. So let's head out to the car and let's get started. Okay, so have you ever had this happen to you? Damn it! <laughs> okay, so maybe it didn't happen just like that. So let's grab some string. I got some masonry line here. And this end, we need it to be just about as long as the door right there. We don't need to go any longer than that for this end. And then we can tie our slip knot over here later. So let's just first worry about getting this line in here. Now, every single make of car is different. So you might want to check if the string slides behind the door without breaking anything first before you go try this on your mom's Mercedes or something. <laughs> so let's work this back here. I've done this, I've probably got myself out of a sticky situation like this probably several times. So I already know how it's done on this car without breaking anything. Just kind of have to worry about getting around this little weatherproofing bit here. It takes me a second. Okay, there we go. And we're in. Now before I show you the rest of this, you must solemnly swear to only use your powers for good. <laughs> okay. So now we're in there. Now we're gonna tie our slip knot over here and we have to tie it in such a way that the end over there is a pulling tight way and this way is a pulling loose way, see? So as I pull this side, it's getting loose. And as I pull this side, it'd be getting tight. Okay, so that's exactly how we want it. Now. You like, it's good to get a whole bunch, maybe like 12 inches, 18 inches, right there. And then if we could get it so it's not so tangled up, that might take a little while, but try to get it so it's a nice loop and it's not all loopy like this. That'd be, that'd be a good thing if you get it done like that. So I'll probably do a little bit of that off camera, get this nice and clean. And then we're gonna grab this other end like I showed before. And we're just gonna put that through this loop and we're gonna to try to keep this nice and clean so it's not a giant tangled mess. Just like that. Okay, so we have these two strings over here, which is gonna hold our loop kind of open and allow us to pull it back. And then we got this end over here to pull it tight. Okay, so let's get started. Hey guys, you think you could just unlock the door? No? Okay. Well, as you saw the, root, the, the loop was getting kind of winded, so I figured I actually came up with a whole nother solution. 
Here's the other end of the loop right here. So instead of having the rope go through the loop, I'm just gonna hold on to the loop outside the car like that. And that's gonna keep the, two, the loop separated and not twist it up into a big mess. So let's try to get this right over here. And then let's try to get it down onto that little latch, which is the tricky part. So he wants to twist a bit. And now if we wanna get this slacked, we have to pull this in. Now this is a little bit like fishing, except if you, you get to go home at the end. <laughs> okay, that was close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bam, okay, now we have the loop on there. Now we're gonna pull it tight with this. This is always the scary part. This is where you can lose your fish. Careful, 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 careful. Bam. Okay, now this stage, this final stage, we have to make sure we pull tight enough so it doesn't slip off, but not too tight where we break our string. So grab both ends like, the, like so, give it a wiggle up. And bam, we're in. All right. Okay, I hope you really enjoyed that one. If you really liked it, maybe you could think about sharing it with somebody. Uh, a couple announcements before we go. So we're, as of making this episode, we're about 100 subscribers away from 10K, which is a huge deal. The only way a small channel like this gets found is by you guys investing into it, by hitting that subscribe button or liking and commenting. 79% of you haven't subscribed yet, so now's the best time. Shoot us over 10K, and I hope you guys get your investment back. I'm basically turning this into the biggest encyclopedia of climbing knowledge I can on video. It's basically what I want to do. And uh, we're doing a really good job at it. I see you guys are really enjoying where it's going. Um, on the subject of that, I'm also starting a Discord channel. If you don't, guys don't know what Discord is, I think it's the new type of forum. I'm just getting started in it myself, so I'm not sure, but I just started one. I'm not sure exactly how it works. So I think what it's gonna be is if you got a question, you could quickly get it answered by a community. So I wanna uh, try to get it, build a community over there where you could quickly ask a question, send a picture, and somebody could answer it, get feedback on things. Uh, so I'll leave a link in the description below. I also have a section in there where you can post memes and um, send climbing fails there to everybody and stuff like that. So should be a fun little place for, for you guys if I can build it up. I basically want this to outgrow me and become a bit, bit bigger than me where you guys could actually have a community to share stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm also, I'm also working on writing a book of the philosophy of climbing, something like that. It might take me a year to do that, but uh, I'm still working on that device too. So I think that's all for this week. Uh, yep, that's about it. Josh Perry, climbing out of this one. See you guys next week.